uh, President Trump speaking about law enforcement. The year 2015. This must end, and that's why in my first action having to do with this subject, the Department of Justice, I am asking to develop a strategy to better prevent and prosecute crimes of violence against our federal, state, tribal, and local law enforcement officers. They've had it with what's going on. And we're going to get it taken care of. We're going to get it taken care of quickly. And I want to thank you all for being here today. It's a great honor to have you. Great honor to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some of you have suffered greatly. And uh, we're going to take care of it. Okay? We're going to take care of it. All right, Tony, uh, executive order there. Uh, we're going to, Americans protecting those that keep us safe. I think it's about time that we help out the law enforcement community in this country. Very important signing there. Just want some of your thoughts on that. Absolutely. The president's been a real leader when it's come to the protection of law enforcement. He ran a campaign and largely won on the fact that he squares sidely with law enforcement in this country. There should never be daylight between the commander in chief of this country and law enforcement who protects us every day. Uh, how does something like this get implemented? Is it, is it about putting a focus on punishment for those uh, who, who, particularly who harm, physically harm our law enforcement community? Or are there other some uh, ways of going at it from a preventive point of view? Well, executive orders really go to bringing together and coordinating a lot of the entities that have to make these policies right. and to figure out the best practices that help to ultimately achieve the goals of the executive order. A, a perfect example, you know, we just had a major cyber security issue uh, around the world. This was a big topic of the G7. President Trump has signed an executive order on cyber security. It's been a top priority of his administration. Secretary Mnuchin took that message with him to Bari and his uh, counterparts around the world. And just as they're having this discussion, we have this major incident. Right. Part of that executive order is the coordination with our international coalition partners, uh, private sector, our interagency partners, to all make sure we're following the best practices to prevent these types of attacks. Tony Sack, thank you very much. Charles, great, great to see you. you in studio. Thanks, my friend. All right.